Hey guys. So I know it's been a while. Let's see, we've got Page of Pentacles. I just wanted to tell you that that um, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, all the decks I'm shuffling here, they just keep flying out. And as I'm tapping into the energy for um, this reading today, Okay, I also wanted to say that, like, all my readings are timeless. Like, I don't put the dates on them. I mean, I do for my monthlies horoscopes, but, you know, as you know, like, I don't, I normally do my monthlies, like, in the, I don't know, it just usually happens, like, in the middle of the month, because I don't do them until I move to do them, you know, and I just put that month's name on it, because that's that, but, you know, energy is fluid, so... But, um, anyway, so as I'm tapping in, it just feels like, I feel like, um, well, the songs that came on were Hey Brother by Lychee and then I have, I have a Tiger. And it just, it feels like coming together, like collaborating. It feels like getting with people like um, that are really going to stand by us, you know, and the eye of the tiger is like to like, not only are we going to push each other, but um, it's like encouraging each other to keep going to um, there's creating. I mean, today's 11, 11, you know, and um I mean, it's not, um, it doesn't mean that competition dies away, like drops away. It doesn't mean that conflicts drop away, but it's like just being able to breeze through it is what I just heard. And, um, with confidence and grace. Yeah. So that's just, whew, I'm like sweating now. <sighs> anyway, energy feels hype. I'm also, that's the word I'm hearing. Like, I don't talk like that, but all right, let's see. Just a couple more shuffles here and then. Make sure I have it right set up. Okay. Get one card for the Divine Masculine Energy, please. Where is the Divine Masculine at? Going through a rebirth. I heard death as well. It's like the dying of his old self. Yeah, look at that sun in the background. Ending a phase. Walking through these, ta look, look what's at the bottom. The, the Ten of Wands, like the Ten of Wands, he's almost there to the tower. And like, there's the towers back there. It's like you walk through the towers, face your fears, and there's the sun. Here comes the sun. So... Way to go, Divine Masculine. All right. Um, divine Feminine. Where is Divine Feminine at? Being patient. This is, this is, um, I'm reminded of that song again, The Eye of the Tiger. This is about that. Um, divine Feminine, I just feel have a really like, focused on work and their finances and building their businesses and building like creating they're creating they've also invested you know we've all invested a lot of um, time and energy into our connections with our divine masculine but 
you know, waiting but not waiting for the, yeah, and look, see, and here's the, the, I was just drawn to those stairs in the background back there. It's like everything's been done. Everything's been done. The Divine Feminine has done everything that could possibly happen. Yeah, see, look. It's kind of like the same thing, you know? This is this is destiny. This is cycles ending. This the same here. Transformation. This is exciting. I mean, it's just like what it's like waiting to see what's going to come of it. Like all this work, like because something's going to come of it. And this, I was just drawn to this. What are those things they carry that, um, uh, shoot, the words like right there at the tip of my, a dumb, oh, shoot, it's like some crazy word. And it, ha it makes like sa the sound, like the, um, I'm going to have to look up what that means and what that word is. I'll put it in, in the comments once I figure it out, because that means something. That's something to someone. All right. All right, let's see. And where is the connection? Where is the connection currently? One card for the connection, please. The ships are coming in. Both sides can see it, you know, both, yeah, look. It's the sun, it's like, I feel like there's a um, awareness. This is also like fresh start, a new beginning. Some of you may or may not be dealing with a Leo, but this is also like just about both of us, um, both sides, like, being ready and prepared for action to move forward, you know, seeing what's coming, like, I, I'm just getting like a lot, like we've been, uh, and I'm just heard, like we've been preparing for this, you know, and this is, this is it. Like, this is it. It's coming in. Like the manifest manifestations are, becoming reality. I mean, these ships are close to shore. Look at that. And there's a bunch of them. <laughs> there's five. And look, this person, like, look at how he's standing there. He's like, he knows he's not sweating. He's not sweating about like what time they're going to come. He just knows they're going to get there and he's fine watching them come in. He's, it's like, what is it? Um, clean house. Trust God. Help others. He's just over here minding his own business, doing his thing. And it's like the knowing that not only are they coming, but that he is deserving There is no question. This is what the masculine's over here preparing himself for, going through this birth, like rebirth to be ready to receive. And over here, same with divine feminine, like being waiting, like opening up to receiving. And then here it is right here. Coming. Look, clarity. The truth, that's what I just heard. The truth is revealed, see? This move, moving on to, this could be travel. Some of you may be traveling as well. This is also like traveling. You guys could be at a distance from each other, you know? Where you have to like cross seas.
Yeah, this is like somebody coming in from out of town. So I, I just, I mean, and I never noticed this before, but way over here in the corner is, no, it's on this side, is a house. It's like somebody may be coming to your house. Or maybe you're moving to a new house. I think it's like both. Wow. I'm just like taking in the energy of this guy, you know, standing here on the cliff watching the um, boats come in. I mean, he's just, it's like somebody's planning something. Somebody's planning. It, maybe you're both planning, you know, both sides are planning like their future and how to really, because both are aware of the connection, but it's not like, I don't feel like it's, it can just come together. You know, it's not like you can say, let's be together and you get to just be together. Like there has to be planning, but it's coming. And I feel like both sides are seeing the pieces starting to come together. Like it's clear, it's clear that it's going to happen, but it's, there is a waiting. There is a, it's not even like a pause. It's just like, um, It, it's not going to happen overnight. Like, it's not like you can decide to be together and all that stuff. And then boom, pow, like five minutes later, you're living together. I feel like there's got to be some kind of planning, you know, the planning. I feel like some, some more divine masculines have ended, um, you know, those, those that are in, um, the three party situations, you know, uh, I feel like they're wa walking away from, uh, I feel like that relationship is ending, has ended or about to end. Whew. As I said that my love you to the moon and back fell over. I was weird. Right. So Kind of signify something ended, right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so let's see. Let's clarify. Hold on. Well, I'll show you these, but I wasn't ready here. So um, there's this more clarity of the truth. Like, I feel like the truth is, re is revealed. All right, so let's see. Clarify the, the death card for... Oh. The... Divine Masculine, please. Yeah, look. It's a wheel. Six of, six of Swords again. He's. He, I feel like he's just like done with the nonsense. He could be learning something new as well. Educating himself. Get one more. Yeah, look. Because he's made a decision. This definitely, and look, Ace of Pentacles. Definitely, uh, he's he's thinking about offering something. He knows that this is a a destined connection. That you know, soulmates, twin flame. I mean, this definitely confirms like the ending of the karmic connection. Like it ended. It's, it's like done, but it's also about him. Yeah. See, look, and look, I mean, look at how this, I forget if this is Archangel Gabriel or Archangel Michael up here guide. It's probably Michael, right? Cause Archangel Michael is the, um, angel for twin flames. But anyway, so, but see this, he's guiding. It's like, pushing them together. She's looking up at him, you know, just tr trusting in the above. And 
he's, it's like he's trusting in her, but not, not like in a way where he's putting her above, you know, the universe and God and all that, but in a way where he's amazed by her faith. Oh my God, that's just like totally made me cry. He's humbled by it. Look, because you guys, this is going deep. She's known all along. And he feels bad it's taken him so long. But you just got to let that shit go, you know? <laughs> like, you live and you learn, and then, like, okay, just, like, go on to the next thing. But this is also, I'm getting, like, divine timing. This is, I mean, look at the sun. It's, like, it's, they're both coming exposed, you know, as who they really are to each other. They both get to show up as each other with the other one. This is really beautiful. The energy I'm getting from that is just like. And then look, the mountain is behind them. The What I heard was when I looked at this was the mountain has been moved. And that's about divine timing. The mountain has been moved. And he sees her. He sees her in this. I mean, look at how he's looking at her. His head is kind of bowed to her. But just in like, it's like, it's almost like he doesn't, in the energy I'm feeling, it's just like, he doesn't feel deserving of her. But look, I'm also guided to this. Look, she has her hand out. Like, come on. Let's go. Sorry, I cut my finger cooking yesterday. I mean, look at that card. It's just so beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I gotta just say what comes, right? This is a new beginning. It's a gift from God. I mean, I mean, it can also, you know, it's not all about like the, the partnership. It, it, it's also about like, cause I do feel like the divine masculine are learning new things. Like maybe, maybe it's with work or something like because, see, I was really drawn to all the books and, you know, see how all these, they all have books. So he could just be looking into the connection. King of Swords. All right, let's see. Divine Feminine. Let's get a couple of cards for the Divine Feminine. Please clarify Seven of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine. What else is going on for the Divine Feminine. Please give me a couple of cards for the Divine Feminine. Divine. Yeah. Three Swords. The Three Swords, I instantly thought, I saw the Three Swords on the wall. I instantly thought about Three of Swords. It's like healing from the three party situation. It's, it's, Knowing there's there's one more sword to put to rest, you know, and I've had that energy come up before and I don't remember which side it was for. I think it was from the Divine Masculine, but it's like, yeah, see, here she is, Divine Feminine, you know, standing in your power, but, but, and knowing your truth and owning it, but willing to talk, you know, you've said, you've said, Look, I'm also um, 
a, a long time ago, I got the energy of like, drop the mic, like see how she's handling, handling. And that's what I thought of too. And, and I'm also getting from this about divine feminine, like there's many divine feminine, just like in their power, not taking shit from anybody. Like you're giving people the opportunity to talk to you and you're listening with an open heart and mind but when you gotta let them know something you're not afraid to let them know and that's the whole like drop mic like pfft, you ain't got time for shit no more like you're just not playing around anymore divine feminine <sighs> hell yeah <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, see? Ten of Swords and Four of Wands. And then Clarity. This is about like, okay. All right, see, all of these, here, we got the Ace of Swords again. Here, it's like, keeps popping up, right? But like all these cards together, this is, this is the divine feminine healing. This is the divine feminine rebuilding herself. This is the divine feminine putting in the work. This is the divine feminine closing chapters, not just, not just with her divine masculine, but with every single, like, I just feel like saying motherfucker. Every single motherfucker that's ever fucked with her in her life, like, Divine Feminine just, like, can't freaking touch you, man. Just freaking badass. Like, you're just badass over here. And if you're not there yet, like, you need to get there. And the way that you're going to get there is by meditating and connecting with God. Because universe, whatever you whoever it is that you, um, also I'm feeling, okay, this, it, like, to me, this, like, looked like a bed all of a sudden, and I just got, like, a lot of you are connecting in your, in your, um, sleep, you know? Yeah, because it's, like, you're less defensive, you're more open. Like it's, it has to do with, um, spiritual awakening while you're sleeping. You're also connecting with your counterparts, but see, I'm, I'm also like drawn to this. It's like, you're learning in your sleep. A lot of um, who, like the divine feminine that are watching this, like you guys are like tapped in, like so freaking connected to the divine and you know it, like you feel it. And nobody's freaking touching you, man. Like, like you, it, you are not playing and not in a freaking like an angry way or anything. It's just this confident, like raw, like that's that whole eye of the tiger. Like, you know, like, you know, like, like, like come at me, bro. You know, you know that, um, <laughs> that meme, I was like, um, it's that little turtle, you know, it's this little turtle and it says, come at me, bro. And he's like coming out of his shell and he's just, just like this little teeny, tiny, tiny, um, turtle but he, he still got like it's because you know you know in the core of who you are that the universe has your back and man you can't nobody nobody can touch you you can't touch somebody like that you just can't you're so in tune like you've just been doing the work and and it's like, this is, this is coming for you. This, this stability, this happily ever after this, like whatever that looks like for you. Whew. 
Because you've had enough, enough of the dumb shit. Like, you, you didn't get there. You didn't get to where you are because, like, <laughs> you ain't talking about it. Like, you are totally fucking about it. Look, again, with the clarity. Like, you freaking know. Your knowing is so strong. I mean, and this can't, like, this cost. This cost you your heart. This cost you, ugh, this cost, I mean, you... Divine Feminine, you have some of you like that. The energy that I'm picking up, you guys are just, I'm honored to be like, I mean, I'm always honored to be doing anybody's reading, but it's like y'all have put in some fucking work and I can feel it. And it's just like, there's no, the knowing is so strong. The, um, it's just, it's awesome. I'm so proud. I mean, both, both sides are fucking doing it here, you know? And I feel like divine, because, because we're both doing it and mirroring it, like we're, we're feeding off of each other, like divine masculine, you're getting stronger and you're getting stronger. The divine feminines are feeling like they don't have to hold on so tightly, you know? So those that have been holding on so tightly, they, they've let go, you know, and just really connect it. I mean, I can't even... This is like so fucking awesome. I'm sorry I'm cussing so much, but sometimes I do that. Anyway, let's see. Connection. This three of wands. You know, this knowing. That's what I was saying before. There's just this knowing. All right. For the connection, three cards, or two cards for the connection. Two cards for the connection, please. Yeah. This travel again. This is coming into balance. This is spiritual awakening. This is um, victory. This is like movement. It's just like the possibilities are endless. Like, and and that's what I also feel like. Like this. This is just like all these gifts coming in. I don't know about anybody else, but like my third eye has been like for days now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like endless possibilities. Like, all right, let's see. For the connection. Yeah, see, totally leaving this world behind because like the regular world moving to a um, because the, um, the chariot can also signify like that spiritual growth, the, the leaving the material behind. And this also reminds me of a keyhole. Whew. Setting on a quest. All right, let's see. What else for the connection? Yeah, look at this. We're, we're on fire. Like, into our power. Even in this, it's like the mountains are behind behind him as well. It's about knowing where our heart belongs. Like being true to our heart. You know, I 
I'm, I'm picking up like that this can signify a couple. Aries and Cancer. But I don't, I don't really like to put signs to cards because I, it's just, I usually just like pick up energy, but they want, I don't know. I don't want me to say that. So But there's like two roads behind. I'm hearing double life. The double life is behind. For some of you too, it's like, I feel like, um, part of the gifts I don't know. I feel both divine feminine. Cause this is the connecting energy. It's like, there's big changes coming. Like there's changes like as far as your finances, there's changes, um, maybe like a different job. Because I'm also getting this energy like the, em the emperor is like a boss of some sort, like some kind of um, – and it's like he's coming to – it's like he's been watching this person grow spiritually. He's been – having his eye on what this person is doing. So I don't know. That's kind of like strange. I don't really know how that it's like somebody's watching. It's like this pre presentation, you know, like I know for a while, like I was getting divine feminines are like presenting something, you know, with their job, like, and that's like, so maybe you guys, some of you go into business together. I don't, I don't, this is weird. Anyway, so I don't want to like, how long is this already? 31 minutes. I'm sorry. I just got to say what I feel, man. All right. So let's get one for the divine masculine. One card for divine masculine, please. flirt and engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah. See, and here's, here's this book again. I don't know if like, because I know in like, I think it was like last time I, I did this, the divine, I, I felt like divine masculine were writing something. And so, and then with the books, maybe some of them are writing a book or they're reading a book, but see, he's, got this book here and he's talking to her. Like, I feel like they're writing something. I feel like some divine masculine are writing books, poetry. I just heard poetry, something could be songs, whatever it is. All right. What divine feminine, you know, this is again, like traveling. There is a high energy of traveling and water and again, like being um, the angel watching over the couple here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. But I don't feel like there's any doubt or there shouldn't be. That's what you're being encouraged to step into. All right, one for the connection, please. One for, dang. This one is my favorite card, make the effort. And I'm going to take all of these because they all flew out. Yep. Passion. Oh, children. <laughs> and that's kind of been a theme your love life is being affected by children. 
that's kind of been like an ongoing thing. And what I'm thinking is like either both sides or one of you has children and that's kind of like slowing up the traveling process to each other. Um, there's some of you that I feel want to have children, um, and dogs. There's something with the dogs too. You know, some of you have like dogs and children. There's something with the children. You've known each other since your children. This is also about past lives, you know, like the six of cups energy. Like I get that energy from it too. The passion. I mean, hello. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. But this is also about both of you because of where you're at, because of the work that you've done on both sides. It's like, feeling it's it see the passion reignited yeah see look coming into your abundance see and this again confirms like the whole like i feel like there's been um karmic relationships that have ended so there's like people being single but ending cycles and look then we got the new beginning the empress but anyway, so reconciliation, here we go, past life, someone from your past is returning to your life. I mean, the sun has like popped out in more cards and there it is again. I mean, something's like coming out into the open. And this is because we're both in our knowing that we deserve love. I mean, this is in the center. It's like, wait, I'm hearing a song. Come and get your love. I don't know what song that is, but if you know it, tell me. All right, and let's get... Um, let's do these. What does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? What does divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. He's about to reveal himself. I mean, look, here's the sun coming out again. He's in his mask. He wants to come out. Look, I don't, I don't feel that you're, he's going to come in with gifts. Look at, look at the rose. That's the moon. That's the full moon. I don't know why I thought it was the sun, but that is the moon. So I don't know when the full moon is, like the 22nd. And the fireworks, what's at the bottom? Look to your inner strength. So he's asking you to hold on. Or maybe it's, oh, and this is an 11. Oh my gosh, and this is 38, which adds up to an 11. So 11, 11. All right, what is the message from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine? What does the Divine Feminine want the Divine Masculine to know? What does the Divine Feminine want the Divine Masculine to know? Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Go all the way down here so she's serious. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. And I feel like, and look, there's the dragon too. There's a lot of this dragon energy going around. So, but, um, focus on love. Like that's a six. This is about forgiveness because I feel like, 
whatever has ended over here and helped cause this death within the divine masculine, like it's hurt. And so, and there's like fire through the fire. Sorry, but that's another song that's just coming through. Um, so she's encouraging you divine masculine to focus on love because love heals all wounds. It's like baby mama issues. That's what I just heard. <laughs> or some, so whatever, whatever that means. It just could just be their significant other, whoever they're, the karmic. All right. And one message for both from above, please. What's advice for both? Divine feminine and divine masculine. New love. Can't make it us up, guys. Show simple acts of kindness. And there's the sun rays in there, huh? Telling you. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth, which is both of what I said, and it's here. I feel it. It's coming. I feel it coming. That's like that weekend song. I love that song. Okay. I love you guys and have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.